Welcome back to BeamNG Drive, guys, and today we are going to be checking out my favorite second-gen Dodge build that I have done so far. Now, I've done a lot to this truck. I actually built it on one of my live streams, and this thing has just about everything that you can do done. Now, what I mean by that is that it is 6.7 swapped. It has a big turbo, a big variable boost turbo. It has 300 horsepower injectors. It has like stage three pistons, stage three rods, dry sump oiling system. Just about every single thing that can be done to the engine has been done. Now, it's also got a off-road suspension, which was a interesting choice for a truck of this power, but I wanted it to be able to do kind of a variety of tasks. It's got off-road tires, it's got a built drivetrain, built transmission, and a massive stack in the bed. Now, if you guys are curious as to where you can get this map or this truck or any of the mods that I am playing with in this video, make sure you check out the link in the description box down below to the Too Fast Racing Discord server where you can find all of the information that you may want or need. Now, without any further ado, let's go ahead and fire this thing up and see how much it can actually take in a variety of tests. And we're going to start off right here at the runway. Let's fire this truck up. It sounds pretty freaking good. It sounds really, really good. And we also have nitrous on it. So if we ever want to get a little bit extra rowdy, we absolutely can. Now, first, we're going to go ahead and lock the rear diff. We've got it in high range on the four-wheel drive. We've got the four-wheel drive locked. We're going to do a first gear launch literally just right out of the hole on the drag strip. Now, I also deleted that passenger side headlight to sort of simulate the idea of having a headlight intake. Even though the intake is not actually right there, still kind of wanted to simulate the idea of having one. All right, y'all ready? Let's see. Three, two, one, go. It torques up the entire truck. It's peaking at 45 and a half pounds of boost, which is absolutely nuts. I can barely keep it in a straight line. Come on, come on. There's 190, there's 200. Come on. Can we keep it in a straight line all the way to the end? Come on. Oh, we're gonna hit it at 210 miles an hour. Let's go. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever jumped this truck that far ever before. What a, what a way to start this video out, by the way. That was absolutely insane. Now, I do also want to show you guys, once we disconnect the four-wheel drive, look at the level of burnouts and donuts this thing can do, because it is tremendous. If it's not trying to flip itself over. Hang on, let's see. All right, there we go. Got a proper burnout started. Now let's see if it's willing to actually go in circles. Come on. There we go. Once it's not trying to torque up the entire truck, let's see if we can go for second. Go for third. Okay, third gear donuts are pretty wild. Should we go for fourth? It's still going. <laughs> That is insane. It's still going in fourth gear. Dare we go for fifth? Let's go for fifth. It's still going. Our rear tires are spinning at 91 miles an hour. They are not happy. I will tell you that I do not want to know how hot those rear tires are right now. And I also don't want to know how close they are to exploding. Let's go ahead and go up to sixth gear. Okay, the rear tires are now spinning at 105 miles an hour. Well, fluctuating, 104, 105 miles an hour. And let's see what happens when we just pull out of the donut. They just keep playing one for one. It won't let me pull out of the donut. It's literally like, no, you're staying here. You're not, literally, you're not doing anything else. Come on. Wow, it is really upset. <laughs> and off it goes into the sign and the bedside gets demolished. Now let's go ahead and put the four-wheel drive back on and disengage the rear locker. Let's go back down to like neutral. There we go. The engine isn't really damaged at all, so the engine should be fine. Let's head up to, well, we'll save the ramp for later. We will save the ramp for later. Let's see how this thing does around a dirt racetrack 
and see how long I can keep it from tipping over. I don't know. Maybe I should actually go ahead and turn the rear locker on. Ooh, come on. With all that torque, it wants to torque the chassis up constantly. It wants to, like, twist the frame in half half the time. Third gear is scary. Third gear is, like, legitimately over-the-top scary. It's always pulling that inside wheel off the ground like a trophy truck, even though it drives nowhere near as good as a trophy truck. It's a little all over the place. All right, come on. Let me see if I can get it to drift through this corner. I kind of can. Actually, it'll even drift in four-wheel drive. That's pretty impressive, actually. It's got so much power that, like, the second you roll onto the boost, it just absolutely lets loose and goes. But, you know, for it being kind of a, a very compromised build in a lot of ways, it's handling the track a lot better than I thought it would, I say, as I literally point directly towards a wall. Oh, it made the gap, pretty much. It kind of cased it on the rear axle a bit, but... I feel like this thing has no right to be this stable. Well, I say that as it almost flips me over, but come on. There we go! Oh! No! There it goes! Oh, dang it. Okay, I literally thought that we were so close to doing a full lap. I think we can do a full lap. That's the thing. I genuinely believe that we can do a full lap. Hang on. Let's go. I'm not done here yet. I genuinely believe a full lap is doable. Come on. Should we do it in rear wheel drive? That might actually, it might help us. It certainly might help it drive a little bit more like a trophy truck. Although, we definitely have to be a little bit more careful of the amount of wheel spin we're getting. Because then at that point, like, if we just give it too much wheel speed, it's just going to try to spin. So let's see what we... Whoa! The suspension behavior is weird. And, like, having the four-wheel drive on sometimes helps pull you through the corner. Ooh. It just wants to go sideways even on the straights. I know it's not tuned for this, but I really wanted to see what it would do. Up the inside, back around to the... Oh, wow, okay, all right. Not bad in terms of, like, a high-speed slide. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. It wasn't as cased as I thought it was going to be. And you can just kind of trail the back end of the truck around by using the front brakes on the way into the corners and then just ride the drift out. It works a lot better than you might think it does. Like, we're going over 80 miles an hour on dirt right now, and it's, for the most part, apart from my, like, wildly all over the place driving, it's handling it pretty well. Look at that pulling the inside wheel up. That's so cool. All right, let's ease it around. Whoa! All right, I'm just being nice and easy with the throttle. That went really well. Once again, apart from casing the... No! Roll back over. Thank you. I am finishing this lap. Even though I kind of tore the top of the cab off, I am legitimately going to finish this lap, and I... Oh, my steering is broken. Kind of. Like, it'll only turn... It'll turn a lot more left than it will right. My alignment is very oofed. That's... That's no steering. Like, that amount of left-hand turn is no steering. Like, when I let go of the steering, the truck turns very, very far to the left. Oh, and that makes it snap as well. I thought I would be able to do a full lap without running into these issues. Man, okay, the fact that I didn't do a full lap really kind of internally makes me sad. But you know what? Next challenge. Now, we are going to be saving the massive ramp for last, but I wonder... Hmm, now, I know that that, uh, that figure eight track, this thing is awesome right there. There's also this dirt oval, the mini dirt oval, but out here, there's also a lot of different tests that if you're looking to put a truck through its paces, this is a brilliant, brilliant area to do it in. Now, this area right here, that's a cool test track. Where should we, ooh, that's, see... That would only be that would only be for if we had like other trucks. Oh, we should totally bring it out on the beach and do a Baja test. No. No, you know where we need to take it? We need to take it out to the mud pit and actually do a proper mud test with it. That is exactly exactly what we need. I'm surprised we haven't even done that yet. There's the mud well, actually, is that the mud pit? Yes it is. Well, it's technically a mud drag strip right next to the off-road complex. All right, let's go. And nice and easy. You know what? I wouldn't mind just dropping it from, like, up here. Let's go. Oh, God! Oh, that went well. Yep, that, that was, that was delightful. All right, really? 
Gear damage, 2%. Please use the clutch. I forgot, okay? I forgot. Leave me alone. All right, let's go ahead and line up right in front of the mud pit. All right, three, two, one, go. Getting up to third, fourth. We're going over 100 miles an hour in the mud. This is not like, wow, okay, this is not okay right now. I mean, it's okay in like all the best ways, but holy smokes. Maybe not over 100 miles an hour. That was probably just wheel speed, not actual like vehicle speed. But that was way better than I thought. Hang on. I'm going to take I'm going to take the other lane and go backwards because I'm, A I've never gone backwards before and B I don't think this truck is going to mind. Oh my god. Dude, this thing is like near unstoppable in in mud that's at least that depth. That's that's wild. I did not think it was going to do that good of a job. Okay, here's the thing. It stalls immediately whenever I put it into reverse. Like, if I, like, just dump the clutch in first gear, it just goes. But apparently, I must have my reverse gear ratio adjusted wrong or something. I need to get in there and look at it and figure it out. Because I have no clue why my reverse gear is always mad at me. Like, there is never a point in this truck or whenever I'm driving it where my reverse gear is not really, really, really upset with me. But now, we're gonna go ahead and head up to the top of the massive mega ramp, and we're gonna see how this thing actually fares once it goes off the middle jump. Now, what's interesting is, if you look over there on the right, this thing is actually making, like, literally, like, what, one PSI of boost at idle. I mean, it's taking forever for that turbo to kind of, like, spool back down. All right, let me actually go kind of as far up as I can. We'll spin her back around and go and drop the truck up here. And we'll make sure to go ahead and refresh it, refresh the physics and everything, make it good to go. All right, let's go. We'll do one run without nitrous, and then the next run we'll do with nitrous. You gotta be careful. There's 200, 209, that's kind of gearing limited, and go! Wow, that was like a perfect run down the ramp. It could not have been more perfect than that. Oh, this is gonna be a big one. Ooh, into the trees! Yeah? Which went well. All right, now we get to do that same thing with the nitrous on and see if the truck actually, like, survives to the bottom of the ramp, or if it blows up before we get there. Oh my god. When the nitrous hits, it just, it absolutely, it cannot contain itself. The axles are shaking at, like, almost 200 miles an hour. It's not gonna be any faster, but we certainly got there quick. Alright, let's see if we can barrel roll it. Oh! Oh, that's gonna be a big hit. Oh! Boom! Uh, we're still running. I don't know which drive shaft it is that's broken, but, like, my engine still runs. Oil pan is damaged. Wait, is my engine... Oh, no, wait. It's just free revving. Yeah, it's just free revving because we broke everything. Dude, oh my god. Look where the rear axle is in relation to where the front axle is. I have never seen anything go that bad. When I tried to stop, the front axle just... Oh my god, the front axle just walked all over the place. I've never seen something in Beam do that. That is... That is bad. Like, that is really, really bad. But if you guys enjoyed this video in Beam and D-Drive, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later. I hope you guys enjoyed.